Hello, hey, hello. Everybody. What's going on? Just testing here, making sure the sound is good. Mic check. Can you hear Brad? Do we sound good? I can hear Zuljan. Or Brad's velvety tones coming through. <laughs> Brad, I'm not sure I can hear you, man. I what? I can hear I can hear Zuljan. I can hear me. Was muted before. Now I'm fine. You can hear me now. Now I can hear you. Awesome. I can hear you, Brad. Excellent. Yeah. Brad is on. All yeah. right. Awesome. Fantastic. So everybody, Chain Brain X here, joined by quiet, the usual suspects. Good. Uh, joined by the usual suspects, favorite Vox's ambassador Zuljin and Brad the Lee King. Yesterday, <laughs> we launched our all-new Pro Arena, where uh, gear disparity between different players has been greatly reduced. So it allows for a more competitive environment for those who don't have super rare equipment. So for today's stream, uh, the gang and I are going to are going to cover everything you all need to know about the Pro Arena. We're going to queue up for a few games and discuss how the Pro Arena release is actually a very important rollout to the first phase of our Voxy Champions event. So I wanted to get started here by asking you, Brad, what are your thoughts concerning the new Pro Arena since its launch yesterday? Uh, since its launch yesterday, I think um, I love it. I currently am undefeated in the Pro Arena, so don't let me um <laughs> I'm not guys hear that he's he's calling you all out you guys that's better pretty, beat him up that's some big words man we just got we other. just started i know <laughs> so, yeah. um I, I definitely i love it i i like that um I'm, I'm like finding new metas and new gear that i had in my inventory that i can actually use in the pro arena that's actually good like uh if you participated in the past halloween events last year the Halloween masks for the robot masks mm. so good in the pro arena. Those are so good. I've seen people with the um, Dragon Fest wings. Yeah, the rare wings those? we gave away at Dragon. I Fest, didn't even like, think about those for accessories. <laughs> those as accessories are really good. Uh, I'm excited about just like the different um, kind of gameplay that this provides. It makes a lot of cool stuff. It, I mean, I could go mm. on for hours, but yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about it. I love it. Bat apart, pits, dude. apart from the fact that so everybody's elo is going to get reset so everybody's all like on a, on a level playing field mm -hmm. that allows them to have a fresh start to rank up again to compete all over again and aside from that the ranking system hasn't really changed has it aside from that the ranking system has not changed uh, it still provides multipliers just like in um extreme arena so mm -hmm. it's just a fresh elo to start uh basically fresh uh, arena so it's a fresh leaderboard no one has no one's placed at all yet <clears throat> which is probably why i'm on the very very top um and then you know <laughs> we, we will reset the the elo and reset the rankings with the new event coming out as well so um i'm looking forward okay. to like resetting everything going back to bare bones there for extreme arena okay. a lot of us are expect it, are hoping for that too I'd, I'd like to see that because just judging from the the way that the meta's changed so darn much some people have really relied on certain teams for good portions of that time and then if they don't adapt their 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 elo starts falling down so everybody gets more more experienced this and stuff like this when you get on an even playing field you like oh this is a true representation of how good or bad i am you know yeah yeah <laughs> so also, did you have an opportunity to uh arena no, I have not. Not yet. I've been. Uh, what did you think of uh, the key art? So that's one thing I want to cover as well. And big call out to our uh, designers and art team, uh, graphics team, um, Alan, Brandon, uh, Gavin. Uh, what do you guys think of the lion, the owl, the castle background? I thought it was really cool. I thought it was very, um, like the theme was pretty badass. I was a big fan of it. What do you guys think of it? it was I love the owl's awesome. eyebrows and I want the lion as a pit. Yes. Yeah. Also, how can the Red Robo wear boots? <laughs> that's a very good question. Yeah. It's crazy. Tell us the chat. Kind of stuff is possible. <laughs> uh, but those lions, you're going to want that lion. You're, going, you're really going to want that owl. Um, there's so much cool stuff coming out with the new event. So I'm really excited. 
It looks yeah. cool, man. I like I it. felt the rationale for having an arena that like balances out player strengths. Cause like in the extreme arena, it's pretty brutal, right? It's pretty competitive. And like there's people with crazy gear that just wipe the floor with other players who don't necessarily have gear that that's strong. So I feel like this arena really allows those people who don't have like super rare gear to be able to compete because you, you can't have legendary, you can't have epics um, in the new arena. Right. <clears throat> and honestly, the the recruit gear that you get for free is pretty comparable to rare gear right now. Um, we might nerf it. It's so comparable. <clears throat> but it's it's a level playing field in that you can go to the, the Voxies marketplace and spend 100 Voxel and get like equip your team with pretty much fully equip your team with rare gear and then jump wow. in. Mm -hmm. um so I just 100 like, voxel uh, i mean yeah or less honestly uh because yeah. uh, rare gear is uh pretty cheap right now so it's it's not a bad uh market to get into i, I i've i went and bought a bunch of rare gear just to see what would work just to see like kind of mix, mix and match right and see, to what, test uh, it. see what the meta is going to be because you never know right and the other thing i found very interesting was that any voxy rarity is uh, permitted right so you can have a godly voxy it's just that the, that godly voxy needs to have rare gear um correct like at max exactly yeah and that means that the potential to earn more voxel is really high because it's a godly so they can earn more voxel right but they're not going to be stronger in battle because like the rarity of a voxy doesn't determine any sort of battle advantages right so right now, no rarity really determines valid, uh, battle advantages. It's all about the RNG for your rewards. So you're more likely to win mm -hmm. NFTs. You're more likely to win voxel bags. And you'll win a greater rate of voxel when you win uh, battles in rare. If you have a, a godly or legendary voxy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think that's very good to know for people who have, you know, they've, they've invested in good rarity voxies that they can hop into uh, the pro arena and they can stand to earn more voxels. So I think that's really good for them. And I'm excited to see how the arena plays out. Cause like, I'm excited to see who, like people who are always playing on extreme, I'm excited to see which ones are going to be like more pro arena regulars now and stop being regulars in extreme and which ones are going to stay in extreme because now they're competing with people at their level and they're right. earning more rewards because extreme arena has more rewards overall than pro right right yeah exactly i think it's <laughs> going to be a good place to test things too the availability of legendary and godly items are limited by the number of them that are on the market right whereas right. rares don't have that limitation so if you want to test uh, a let's just say a party with three two-handers okay and there aren't really any good two-handers that are available in the legendary market that doesn't necessarily mean anything because you can find them on the rare market you know um there will be many 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 more copies of every particular weapon so where you don't have to worry about being ill-equipped to test a certain comp that you're investing in you could spend very very little to get a very adequate comp of a certain type and experiment with it and if you don't like it oh well you know you didn't go broke trying it which is good mm. sure. yeah that's a good use case as well for the new arena a heads up brad your volume apparently is a little bit low um we all want more of your voice man all right well I'll give it to us <laughs> <laughs> we need more, we're craving more of uh of your voice 100 uh, yeah but <laughs> Zuljan, I think that's a great use case, man. I think it is a good place to test stuff as well. Because like Draft Arena doesn't really give you that because you can't really go in there if you have anything at all because it's just for basically like brand new players. But the Pro Arena does give you that flexibility where you can hop in and test new gear out, test new weapons. Right. And then just sort of dip your waters before you go into the Extreme Arena, which remains the most competitive, most intense arena. Like it's brutal out there in, in Extreme, man. I see people um, like, you know, staying up for long battles grinding it out so um I'm, I'm happy with the pro arena i feel like it's needed yeah it's it, it's definitely a breath of fresh air for a lot of the stuff um i i've i've been having a lot of fun on extreme doing these videos and stuff but i'm looking forward to doing some some pro arena stuff too because uh, like, sometimes sometimes getting the right comps and the right gear together it, it involves like someone with a collection the size of mine or, or even larger making sure that one item is available when another voxy is when you're not using it you know for a games gaming session or a prolonged period of time you like to rent them out 
So mm. if I have a two-handed sword that I like to use with my legendary monster and they're out on two different days, I have to hold one asset until getting another one. So it can it, it, it's it's a lot easier for me to test stuff and make videos and just play more because I don't have to worry about certain assets being available. Not to mention your boy has an entire collection of every piece of armor in the rare item lists. So when sets happen to be a thing, I could test what a crab suit is going to do. I could test <laughs> what the cat suit is going to do. And yeah. um, not to mention, it looks kind of cool, man. It's not this mix and match stuff. Like, you, you, uh, you, have you ever seen a knight in full crab gear? They actually they actually look pretty dang awesome, dude. I like it. <laughs> I, I agree. And I think that like a lot of our, our art and a lot of the cool stuff that Gav has made in, ended up being rare gear and it wasn't really utilized until mm -hmm. now. So I'm looking at, I'm playing, I've been playing rare arena and people like, they have full uh, giraffe gear, like all of the pet gear is rare. So it's like, it's really nice. Sure. And you mentioned sets earlier. That is definitely something we're working on having set bonuses. So you're absolutely right. Like if you collect the mm -hmm. set later on, you're going to, more than likely get a bonus for mm -hmm. having all of that stuff equipped. Get your little spreadsheets, y'all. Mm -hmm. Start <laughs> shopping. That's what I'm doing. I think man. we can uh I think we can start queuing up for a game just to give everybody an idea of what the uh, new like the new multiplayer tab looks like on the interface. And then we can start um hopping into a few games on the pro arena. Like that right there. Seeing who's going to beat you and get you off that leaderboard, man. I hope so. I hope I get someone, so I, someone to stream snipe me. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, first of all, I love the new colors yeah, this looks on, this, on this page. I just love it. It just illustrates difficulty in a good way. Like, Extreme mm -hmm. remains the most competitive, the place where all gear is permitted. Uh, pro is rare, maximum permitted, thus the blue color. I think this is so much better just in terms of the design of it. And um, yeah, I, I love that new interface. Yeah, I love it. It looks good. The art too, like. The mummy the looks great, art. dude. Yeah. <laughs> the mummy looks great. Yeah. Halloween, guys. So and I like how y'all gave a hint of the most powerful class in in, uh, in draft, which is the ranger or the druid with the bow. It is. Mm. The bow's, the bow's ridiculous. God, I love Rangers. It's like so too OP, much. you would say right now. It's like too strong. No, it's... but I mean, in Pro Arena, first of all, there's a U bow, which is statistically, it's actually better than some of the legendary bows you could get to pound for pound. Like, U bows are insane. U bows are really, um, really good. And druids, uh, I mean, are yeah, really good. druids too. Druids too. Yeah, I heard druids are insane, man. Like, they're, yeah. they're pretty popular when you go on Discord, you see everybody talking about their druids. They are a very, very good um, support class. In addition, they have they kind of counter um, melee units or heavy units really well because of, um, I mean, blind is a pretty big thing. You know, it, it, even if you're not using skills as a heavy unit or something with a, a very powerful weapon like that, anytime you get a, a, a swing and it hits you, you know, anytime you can make them avoid that is another turn that you might live because some of the things hit pretty hard. So blind is is awesome to have. And for yeah, blind was just that, a video, was, man. Like, you guys check out yeah. the that last Voxy by a battle by that went out. It was actually covering that very uh, ability. Um, I think it was the bushy brows, right? Mm -hmm. It was the one that blinds and makes your enemies likely to miss, even buffing themselves and their teammates, which is pretty yeah. pretty cool. Just for yeah. 65 mana, right? And that's not that much mana. Right, just right. The the biggest thing is when they're trying to heal, like you can really, really nerf a class because some people wait until the very last minute before they pop a big yeah. spell, like a priest and stuff. It's nothing like it is nothing more wasteful than spending 80 mana to 100 mana on something that just absolutely whips. It's it's horrible, dude. Yeah, especially when absolutely. they don't pay attention and they don't realize that they're blind. Like you'll hit them and it'll proc on. Right, them and they don't know. Yeah, I'm no, I'm not CC. Great, let's go and. <laughs> and then there was like a bunch of classes that got like not a buff, but sort of got like better because their ability to double hand, like they can strike with both hands in a single turn. <laughs> so I think some of those classes are better off now because of that like new addition that we made last week or a few. The dual wielding is interesting the way it works. I, I I still don't have a real good handle on it. Like conceptually, I know what's happening. But I still don't know what's happening as far as the procs are concerned. Mm. So you still only have one proc bar. Is that for your primary hand? 
Yes. Okay. You cannot proc with your offhand. That's what I thought. That's what right. I thought. And you just get a bonus attack if you're dual wielding, but you're mixed wielding. So if you have like a, a sword in your primary hand and a gun in your offhand, you can still mm -hmm. hit with a sword, but then you'll shoot as a bonus action. So you'll really get kind of like two attacks there. You can attack two mm -hmm. different targets. And people have been using this for <clears throat> undead, right? You kill an undead, it comes right back, and you shoot them with your offhand, or you slice them with your offhand. Oh, I didn't even realize that was a thing. Gone. Right, yeah, exactly. Ooh. Uh, so that's going to be something that's pretty cool. Very cool. Very cool. And then Link Weapons got a bit of a nerf, right? So Link Weapons, for those who don't naturally hold dual, dual, wheel, dual wield, they'll do like a 40% um, of their maximum, right? When it's in like a Link hand. Yeah. In the, in the offhand, exactly. Right, yeah, right. Yeah. And we're still looking at that. We might change. We might buff that a little bit. Um, but yeah, the people, the the classes that were taking advantage of link weapons being so strong with their strong hit. Let's talk about squires. Squires with that. daggers. Yeah. We were talking uh, like basically the reason we changed the um, the mix building is because pirates were putting a in their primary hand a gun, but in their offhand they had like a really high damage sword. And the, mm -hmm. we were adding that together, and they were able to shoot that from a, like a ranged target, right? So we yeah <clears throat> we wanted to make that fair. Um, so we gave them a little bit more utility, but they don't do as much damage, right, as they would have otherwise, right? Because mm. it's really not exploitable anymore. Yeah. I'm having trouble finding a match. Could someone who wants to stream snipe me? Is there no one else? We're going to try it again. Gabriel, Are you in the right cool. arena? Are you in the pro one? I am in the pro arena, yeah. Mm. Gabriel 999 said he would do it, but he's at work right now. Oh. Hope Good. you have a good shift, bud. Soon he'll be able, you he'll be able to play from work. Right, right, guys? He'll be able yeah, to play from one work. One day. As one day. mobile, you can just head to the restroom. Yep. Yeah. Up out on your exactly. lunch, bro. <laughs> let, me go exactly. teach, let me go teach this boy something about meta. <laughs> he can uh, hide under the table you know nobody sees don't him. promote yeah. that they'll do it they'll do it <laughs> hey we got a match let's hope let's hope he connects and mm. don't get a could not connect error but if we do we'll, we'll probably just go right back in it we love live streams for that can you just edit out right? the good stuff <laughs> exactly uh, this new mobile phone is being released or something and then the guy was trying to unlock it on stage and then it wouldn't unlock with his face id oh gosh you guys remember yeah, that yeah. that was so yeah, funny yeah, yeah. that was that was insane yeah. stuff like that happens all the time right you gotta love exactly live. you go live you go for it man. the best are news bloopers man weather bloopers when the oh the, i love those the anchors yeah. don't know that they're on cam and they just say something ridiculous and it's yes. like God, I've been having this weird itch on my butt all day. And they're like, wait, <laughs> we're live, Susan. <gasps> oh, those are the best. Are the this best. week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> we go straight to oh, the snow map. <laughs> Look, I'm even I'm even dressed as the desert map today, guys. I'm uh, I'm wearing the hey, desert map. Yeah. Oh, nice. Camouflage. Yeah. I thought you was wearing the ice map with that little turtleneck you got, my friend. I can't I'm dressed up the... as the bard, man. I'm dressed up as the bard, Voxy. Also, it looks like you and I are both getting ready for winter months, man. We got a little, a little thickness going. It's getting a little yeah. cold. Brad's man. been ready with his little Viking stuff he's got. Actually, you know, <laughs> Brad's a Viking who stopped destroying things and decided yeah. to play video games. Yeah. All right, I'm playing George. George who, has who, Black what, Mage, what White Mage Warrior. Okay. <clears throat> right. All right, George. That is one of my favorite comps, straight up. Why so Brad Cat, like the thing I'm loving right now about this arena is that Brad can't like go in there with his crazy godly legendary gear and like wipe the floor with whoever is there. Like now there are limits, people. Now it's gonna be a competitive, very evenly matched game. Which is Brad, awesome. talk to me about your love for that shield that you use it on your robo man. This shield is the <laughs> shard such guardian a blockade. Shield, dude. It's a good shield. It such a good shield. It's a good shield. Oh. Uh, I, I have never burnt one. 
I have never burnt one in the forge. They're just They're too good. Really to throw good. Away. <laughs> they were really good. And we made them good uh, early on, right? Uh -huh. When we were designing these for like a level system where you would just level up and your gear would be have a level requirement. Right. You'll start at zero and, and kind of go up from there. So what's cool about the rare arena and what's cool about the gear is it's already kind of designed for that purpose. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be balanced across the uh, across the rarity, so you have outliers like the masks and the chart guardian uh, blockade and stuff like that. Um, or the Ubo, like you were saying, mm -hmm. giving everybody the secrets. Where they when it really shines, uh, there's a few weapons and um, and armors yeah. and shields naturally that give very very good stat bonuses, like the shield. But look at the difference between your. Um, your the health on your robo versus the health on your mage it's it's actually not that much difference and the biggest difference is that without legendary quality a mage's weapon and their offhand item won't have huge stat bonuses right like it shouldn't make you much much more tanky it's just designed to kind of complement you and you can utilize things that do give you big stat bonuses that offset that, like your pigeon chest, for instance. It's a 30 health item that you can get for rare quality, which is unbelievable. I have like 10 of them because they're they're one of the out, outside of elemental resistance, they're one of the best you can have for stats. Yeah, and pigeon elemental pigeon resistance crazy. is not huge in 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 pro arena either, you know. It's not. So that's your king. What's, what's great is there's a lot of base physical damage stuff. Mm -hmm. in a rare arena that's viable so right. you go around people's elements resistances with that right so those are right, they're hitting right. harder correct i'm yeah, gonna go ahead and it. give myself haste because it only cost me five mana <clears throat> and it's early on in the game i but love how you're utilizing the two bat pits too yeah i feel sure. like they're going to be really underutilized um <clears throat> but they're good they give you ranged attacks they it, some life drain yeah, ranged life drain is is great, especially because it's a higher percentage of your total life. Yeah, huge. <clears throat> like uh, the dots, any dots or any um, like just the inspire right is a higher percentage of my total stats than it would be. The dots are going to be a higher percentage of my total HP than it would be in other. So, uh, a right. lot of that's going to be a lot more advantageous now. Whether it's like in, in if you have four hundred HP in uh. Extreme Arena, it's like, okay, this is annoying, but yeah. I don't care, right? Dude, is your Black Mage about to... Oh, my God. This yeah. is about to be so bad. Nukem, uh... Nukem, Nukem. <laughs> I'm going to come really close. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be so good, dude. The closer you are to danger, the farther you are from harm. Here we oh, go. Oh, my favorite thing in the world, bro. <sighs> oh, triple proc. Which oh! is pretty devastating. Oh! Uh, in rare or in pro arena i'm sorry in the pro arena i call it rare arena sometimes i slip because it's rare it's and low gear we had a democratic vote and the people have chosen pro pro and i'll have to like stick pro with too. pro because you gotta you gotta utilize you gotta utilize the, the your knowledge your meta and your skills to be able to to do it it's 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 a certain kind of skill level you know you can't just go in with the uh, Uncle Money Bags like uh, Brad King and, you know, with godly weapons and stuff and, you know. Right. Oh, you're you're playing really. against Tulienda, man. You're playing against George. <laughs> I am. Oh. And he's getting cooked, he's saying. <laughs> Come on, George. Let's do this. With you can ninja, beat Brad, I man. I love doing... Uh, that's why right there. I love doing the <laughs> pocket sand because... Double blind. That's, that's where we got it Double from. Double blind. Point and double see. burn yeah this is this is bad news for them not you go ahead and uh actually i'm gonna i'm gonna do something a little weird here i'm gonna power oh, no. my ninja instead of uh, doing an attack oh i thought you were about to no haste mana. your black mage i, I could have hasted either one but <laughs> i'm gonna power him up and charge all of the uh the counters so that I can proc with that lightning weapon next time. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. God, he's melted. He can't even cure himself. Well, he can. Oh, what happens if he... Uh... Oh, I lined up. Oh, nice. But he's blind. Uh-huh. 
He missed one of them, but he swing and miss. Blind only reduces the chance to hit by sixty percent, which is a lot, but it's not it unheard of to hit with blind. No, of course not. Uh, more often than not, though, it does it, come in clutch sometimes. And it makes you not want to spend the mana just in case. That's right? the biggest thing, I think. Yeah, like I wouldn't waste the mana on a comment unless I unless it was like a okay, if I get this, I'll kill him. Like I'll take the chance on some things, but. It really all depends. And in rare, you don't have as many resources as you do either. You don't Some have of these classes when they the lose right. when they're man when they're out of mana, they pretty much useless in battle. You gotta right, use yeah. that mana sparingly. Yeah, exactly. And that's why it's very, very important to have a good pet that is not just a one shot pony, you know, one trick pony. Like having a bat, for instance, on a team, very, very nice because on a on a on a unit that doesn't have any mana left if you're not inclined mm -hmm. to use a potion you can still at least do something or a warrior that you know has limited mm -hmm. range like you go into battle without five move it's a big thing agreed yeah, yeah. it's it really helps non-ranged classes get the range that they need in certain Correct. situations like Correct. If you're getting kited by somebody who has a bow and you don't have the movement speed they have you're gonna need that range right yeah, it makes a big difference. Now, though, with potions of movement, it does make it a little bit more accessible. Like, you don't have to go into every battle with five move because you can evaluate what your opponent has. And if you need, you could use a potion. GG, by the way, bro. The game Damn, bro. That was uh, destructive. Tulienda, tough luck, man. Tough luck. But look, I won 0.6 Foxel. There were no bounties taken from me. Um, yeah, you didn't you didn't kill anybody. Not bad. I retained my spot yeah. at number one on the leaderboards, undefeated, and now I'm tied with uh, Gabriel M nine 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 XD. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're tied with Gabriel. Yep. Okay, Gabriel's well, actually queuing up, man. G Gabriel's queuing up right mm -hmm. now. Let's go. Let's see you play against Gabriel, man. Ah, the two best, the two top. Let's go. The number one and number two. Let's go. All right. Hopefully, I don't get stream sniped. Oh, we're gonna get away. Uh, oh, that's gonna be good. intense. We're get red stream battle. Here we go. Stream battle, guys. Watch him. Watch Streaming him just absolutely wreck me on stream. And then he oh, yeah, gets yeah. clips from this, and he's like posted them. Like, oh, I, I beat this guy. This how many? This game. How much exposure do you have to this map? Like, this is the map I'm weakest on. Easy, to bro. This map, it's it's yeah. a it's a it's a tricky map to strategize with, right? Because it funnels you into the middle and if yeah. you don't go get the high ground really quick and have some range you know right it's a it's not an easy map to uh strategize with okay first of all because of all the hills he have? white mage black mage robo Oof. Mm. and look at that look at that ping uh pigeon armor over there that's what scares me mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay what do i have first my black mage Come over here. Try to get a little bit of the high ground. I'm gonna <clears throat> do my inspire ability because, like I said before, it means more in pro arena than it does in yeah pro arena. And this is like buffing. What is it buffing exactly? So this gives you twenty to all your stats: to strength, dexterity, and intelligence. Oh, and you're saying it's more important in this arena, but not in extreme. Right, because it's a greater percentage of your max uh, stats, because you get fewer stats from the rare gear than right. you get from the legendary. Oh, I see. Gear. Okay. Yeah, it's like a twenty. If you have sixty base decks and you use it and you get twenty base decks, you've got a twenty-five percent increase, and it's it's only like a, a much much smaller percentage in in extreme with bigger gear sets. And stuff. Right. Okay. Look at those glasses, man. That evil scientist. <laughs> They do look a little sinister, don't they? He's a it's mad like boss too. He's got the angry eyes. So he's yeah. the What's cool about the glasses is they hide my mask because if I, you see, I'm wearing the robo masks. He's also got a robo mask on, but he uh, mm -hmm. can't see it because he's got the glasses accessory. But there's a lot of cool stuff I'm excited for. I don't want to like, I don't want to leak everything right this second because I'm pretty yes, you sure. Do. Yeah. You want, want to leak to everything it later too. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why the the last two white mages they did not use their protection ability. No? I don't know. 
that is I love like, protection. It's the most powerful ability in the game, man. It's I crazy. Agree. It, it's it's crazy. It does. It's so much damage reduction. Like, you know, you know, people always think, oh, I need to make sure I got mana for heals. I got to make sure mana for heals. Like, if you start with damage reduction, you your flow don't get interrupted. You know, exactly. if you're you can rush from the get go, yes, yes, you can. You don't have to be strategic. If you if all your guys have protection on, go in there, get hit. Who cares, right? Yeah, yeah. Protection and re raise. It's like, well, I don't care. You want to nuke me? Fine. Just go ahead and comment. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Go ahead. Your comment means nothing. Yeah. And comments don't aren't as devastating in this arena because we we've reduced the uh, right, ability right. damage a little. Now, see, that's what white mages do right there. That's probably what he's saving mm -hmm. his mana for. Is Silence. those silences. Those are going to be gotta love it. Crazy. And yeah. he's also got a stop right there as well with his uh, robo. So let's mm -hmm. see if that procs. It didn't. Mm. But. Clearly, you're, he's attacking the right person, right? Yeah. He's attacking yeah. The, uh, the mage here. I'm just going to go ahead and hit him. 29, 30, it's about the same. Mm. Ice might be better right here. I'm definitely silenced. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I just, I just remember. You see, it happens all the time. Like we were thinking about forgetting about the blind proc. The thing about the blind proc is though it doesn't warn you like you just you can click the button anyway if you silence it just won't let you everything's grayed out right you're blind it's like it'll tell you that you have a lower chance to hit but right <clears throat> yeah mm, missed that proc. and i didn't proc blind on that right i might get my first loss here guys i don't want to call it's it really right. happening it's possible is that a full penguin are you like suit? i'm jealous of that full penguin set right there I don't know, Brad. It doesn't look like you're losing that much. Uh, I'm not losing yet, but <clears throat> you're still in the it, game. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, it's still it's still very very uh pretty even. Very much. Yeah, I think I think it'll it'll be a good battle either way. Yep. Comet. He caught me in a Ooh. AOE range. Mm -hmm. Pro move. No burn Pro procs there. though. No burn procs, and he's still regenerating. So. I know the total hit points are less, but it feels real, real good when you heal and, and you, that green meter gets much, much larger, even though it's, I you know, agree. it's little. Well, they are gunning for you, Black Mage, man. He knows who to take out first. Mm -hmm. um, let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and try to stop. If you could white stop mage the again. White Mage. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, too. It didn't work. Was it Proc Pants? Uh, oh, no. The top is 45. He's going to smite you. Yep. Oh, and that's the next one, too. We have got 49. Mm -hmm. I believe in myself. We'll see. We okay. believe in you, Brad. But I, want, I don't know. I want Gabriel to do well. He's at work, man. He's literally at work right now, getting a game in. <laughs> nice. Oh, you lived. He, yes. I you lived. lived. Um... <clears throat> I also know a secret. The secret is uh, you can use Folks lesser potions on this one, and they do more because you have fewer. <laughs> oh, you it's true. Guys. 150. So, and I'm going to move over here. Attack first. Just so that the robo's the hell away from me mm. can't hit me with the. I mean, he probably can move and hit me with that, but I'm gonna try to absolutely kill this guy real quick, so he's no longer a threat. You think you could hit him that hard? No, I didn't have enough mana no. to hit him that hard. No. That wasn't a bad hit though for what was left. No blind. It didn't proc blind though. That's what sucks. Yeah. Um, we're gonna you get some, you lose some. Uh, map revamps in the coming future with uh, Vint, so that's pretty cool. We'll have new maps. Or not new okay. maps necessarily, but we're revamping all of the maps, and then we're going to start adding new maps. Oh! Oh! Uh, oh, the, the stop. That stinks. That okay. stinks. I still have some of my... Dignity here. He's got the recruit. He's char he can charge himself for free. 
what is that? Is that's a knight sword? What's the knight sword? Knight is holy, yeah. Low, holy. I think knight it's holy. holy. So maybe silence. Oof, silence would be a good one to hit my black mage with. But it's hard got... to remember all of the elemental properties for um for things, man. Like legendaries, it's a little bit easier because most of everything is categorized elementally, and there's fewer varieties. But in rare, we're not used to that, you know. Yeah, the pro arena is like it's mysterious. He's like looking up stats and stuff. Wait, what is that? Exactly. <laughs> you know, what is I like it? that. And like yeah. you can look at someone in pro or in extreme arena and say, okay, this is the mm -hmm. I need to hit them with a water sword instead of a fire sword right. because they got full right. ash armor or something like that. Or oh, it's a dragon. There's no way I'm gonna be able to do any like fire damage with my comet. Um, <clears throat> we're gonna try to stop. Actually, no, we're not. We're going to come all the way over here. So we got a full mana bore. Yes. The proc. The Nicely RNG. Done. Nicely now, done. He stopped. You have a black mage with. Not bad. All right, I'm going to do something. I'm going to use this mana potion on myself. Come over here. I have a stop proc loaded. Since this is weapon damage, my stop proc will work. At least that way, so I have a better... Yeah, that's pretty there. good. Pretty good right there. Two stops. It's the CC. Like, we're in the chess phase of the game. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, this is when it all comes down to timing attacks. It's a lightning sword. Yeah. Yeah. He could take a couple more hits, though. I can, yeah. Yeah. He's going to concentrate on that because I have so much mana. Mm hmm. For good reason, too. <clears throat> Interesting. It's looking tight, guys. His. Uh... His robot is using a brass sword, I believe, which is what element? Is that a brass? I think it is. That sword there? No, his robo. Like um his robo? It must be a brass sword, or it's yeah. definitely a shock sword. So yeah, it just stop me. Brass, yeah. I think that's what we're going to see more of in this pro arena. Just very tight games, very competitive sort of uh, games. Right. Where maybe more so than extreme or maybe more frequently than extreme where it's like sometimes a wipeout. Yeah, you can already tell like all of the boxes are still on the field and it's 10 minutes in. Yeah. But <clears throat> I've used two potions so far. He's used. Right. He's used. Oh, no, he's, he's used one. none. Huh? He's used one, right? Oh, I thought he? he just used one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he did. It'll be awful if he uses no potions. <laughs> just yeah, if he wins and I'm using potions, yeah, then, it happens. Uh, I've had some that did it too. You can you can like literally waste potions too. I've I've used miracle berries before on units that like the 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 big bad dual wielding warrior with two legendary axes is like right next to and in next in line for turn order to the, I don't know, to whatever squishy unit that you just raised with a miracle bear and they're like, well, yeah. <laughs> just, um, you know, they don't even have to use mana to kill you. you know, that's so. devastating for sure. It's yeah. like, oof. or like uh, cleansing someone just to have that person die. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't undead like the most annoying Voxy just because he can get revived two times? No, Priest is the most annoying Voxy. Priest, huh? Because like he hides in the back, he they're hides not in the a back. threat. They're not a threat. They just keep the threats alive forever. And exactly, like I've killed the last video that I did. I killed the priest four times, dude. Four. Wait, I what? How that is? How'd that happen? <laughs> re-raise, re-raise, rebone from dragons. Yeah, uh, you know, and then they'll they'll get one turn at seventy five health when they get the re-raise, then they'll. Heal the warrior that has 350 health, and you're like, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And they don't do any damage, hardly at all, except for basic attack, right? Right. 
Yeah, because um, imagine they did damage with all of that healing power. That's like way too too yeah. strong. Big time. Undead or uh, undead or they're infuriating too, though. The the biggest thing about undead is when they get a decent proc on you, like Doom or um, yeah. or whatever, or if they get a mage that they they want to just shut down, and they have a few units that have the same stuff. They're basically two hand um, melee units with fear, cheap fear too. They can keep fearing you over and over and over again to where. It just incapacitates somebody, like one of your healers, so they can't cure a doom or they can't heal your unit that's slowly burning. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, in certain builds, they're super powerful. And I think they're going to be even more powerful with Necro once we have like Necro Summon and stuff like that. And yeah. Necros can yeah. kind of like. <clears throat> now you have more than one or more than three boxies to kill. Now there's like an extra skeleton on the field. You know, right. you don't worry about. That'll change the dynamic too, because that'll manipulate turn order too, right? A little bit, yeah. yeah. CC and then turn order that starts changing. And yeah, things things could get really crazy then. It's hard to predict. Like right now, I mean, the turn order is pretty simple to follow, especially at the beginning, you know, when everybody's lined up perfectly. But starts getting a little bit harder to manage when there's an extra unit <clears throat> for sure i just got an aoe range like a noob but mm, I feel like happens I to, to the best of us had to in this situation to go after this guy Thirty-three, almost max damage not bad, not bad at all like in the the swords the just the new gear that we don't see every day i like the blue yeah. or the blue masks look really cool it's like a super saiyan god man <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> or almost any other anime hairdo there's so many blue haired uh oh my gosh white mage. I know, right? yeah white mage to the rescue support classes are so strong and they people are. don't use them and they, they'll complain because there's like a in extreme there's a zerg mentality where they're just kind of like doing as much damage as they can and of course in the very middle but <clears throat> strategically so good support is so important yeah at least like one support right okay. one support one tank one offensive guy that's why i love the uh the you know the the supports that are they are double duty like the bards and the druids two of my favorite classes because they're so versatile sometimes you don't need to heal with a priest he's so focused on healing you can't help but think that he's useless when everyone's full health right but he and because he can't do a whole lot of damage he's not a big threat but mm. a druid is always a big threat like all the time so is a board you know? yeah bards also have like range weapons so yeah yeah range weapon and cc and heal and cleanse <laughs> Yeah. You know. Oh, me with he's full again. He's, he's full again. At me now because I'm, <laughs> I just lined up. God damn, Brad! Here it comes. Yep. Here it comes. I posted about the alien race. What do you guys think of the alien race? Like, like me and Brad have already talked about this. Uh, teleport is almost. It's almost great. If teleport was a okay. move action instead of a attack action, it yeah. would make more sense. You feel? Then it would make more sense to use it. To or if the, the stage, or if the boards were bigger, if the maps were larger, then teleport right. would make another big difference. You know. Agreed. But right now, sure. you can teleport out of range. But if a an opposing unit has five, there. Oh, he's going to catch him. Yeah. Yeah. Like a bar. This can only five. run so far. It's the, the mm. biggest thing, you know. Tell you when teleport was useful when I got the heck out of dodge on those that dragon map to escape. Mm -hmm. Oh, dude, I yeah. had to have a teleport unit to get off the map over and over and over and over and over. It was good. Sure. Teleport's useful now, it, more useful now with uh with potions though, because you can teleport next to an ally and then pop a potion on them. Makes so it's a little bit more useful now. What we have to not have happen when teleport is a move action 
<clears throat> is the yeah. very first thing you do in the game is teleport to the other side of the stage and hit mm. someone with an AOE. Now, right. it's their fault for lining up an AOE range when they don't have to. But at the same time, it would be if I if I hit you with a comet, three proc burn, you're like half health, you know, right. at that point you're demoralized. The game is over for you, you know? What if what if teleport had like a rage mechanic instead of a mana mechanic? Like the other way, like you'd have to do so many actions before it was prepped. Like yeah, an I ultimate think it would just start on cooldown, right? Like, oh, yeah. you can't do it the first two turns. Or Correct. Three, yeah. Three, three turns. Yeah. <clears throat> yep. Something like that. This is a close game. So, guys, I'm going to share an article uh, that we posted online about the pro arena. Make sure you guys check it out if you don't know enough about the pro arena or if you don't know like what's what makes it different or how to be eligible for it or um, any other questions. So the article should cover pretty much everything you need to know. But just to recap, uh, in the pro arena, guys, you you can't use legendary gear. You can only use maximum rare gear. And what this does is reduce the strength disparity between different teams. So like you, we're watching the game right now. It's super tight because one team can't be using gear that's much stronger than the other. So it's more, um, you know, more competitive in that way. So if you don't have super rare gear, the pro arena is interesting for you to check out. So yeah, make sure you check out the article guys it has all the information you need. For sure. It's a really good article. It explains the reward structure as well for the pro arena, the draft arena and stuff like that. Oh, that's good. Um, yeah. I can't wait. We're working on new status effects and stuff like that. So we're working on like a a status effect that's a persistent cleanse, basically. It'll cleanse you every so often, like burn kind of does, or like region regions you so often. Uh, we're working on a frog status effect, stuff like cripple. Oh, like oh FFX throwback, man. Yeah, yeah. we're working on all that. Um, come all the way over here. You stop my ninja. Uh, he's basically done gonna hit him next turn ah yeah what's up please hit yourself <laughs> <laughs> so brad one thing i wanted to get your take on as well was oh, how the pro arena ties into the upcoming voxy champions event and this could be an opportunity for you to leak certain things if you <gasps> feel so inclined what am i allowed to leak nazim are you gonna put your 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 name on the line? Like basically, I absolutely have nothing to do with this man and his leaks. Just I'll take all the blame. I, I am not far. responsible for what gets leaked here today, guys. Um, I told Steve him not likes to. likes me too much. He won't farm me. I'll take the blame. I really <laughs> think the seasonal event is gonna be something that's, uh, that's coming up. That's really gonna be fun. Uh, we've got armor sets coming out for the seasonal event. We've got new accessories coming out for the seasonal event. We've got new pets coming out for the seasonal event. I think you've seen pets. those new pets. pets. They're the owl pet and the lion pet. Were they in the art? To, were they in the yeah, key yeah, graphic? Yeah. Right, yeah. They're they're both okay, in the art. Okay. There's some of the uh, armor sets that are coming out are in the art as well, so look for those. Uh, I think even the accessories they've put in there. Like We put a lot of Easter eggs and stuff. Um Easter eggs like what? Like if you cast bushy brows on a voxy that has one of them bushy browed uh, owls, then there's gonna be like a cataclysmic eyebrow <laughs> apocalypse on the screen or something. Uh, I mean, <laughs> maybe the not. Set that bonuses crazy. will do that. Like we'll have pets will be part of set bonuses to where you'll if you have really the, yeah full full giraffe gear and a giraffe, you get in something cool. Some something, something's happening. Yay! Um, oh, we need okay. a goat set then, bro. Okay. There's gonna be Where a my goat, goat set, set? And a diamond goat set, right? So like we're gonna have to be pushing stuff out. There's gonna be new um rare gear and stuff like that to kind of fill the gaps in this pro arena that we have, right? So like mm. we so far we don't have any movement speed gear that's rare that you can use. Um mm. the, the pro arena is like a, an important sort of first phase to the seasonal event, right? That's gonna come out. It's sort uh, the, of Right, yeah, the pro arena is going to be part of the seasonal event, part of the reward structure, and part of the tournament structure, right? So, it, and, okay, and all of this is a it's a smooth on ramp. Like, we'll have mobile coming out very soon. We're having the Titan Arena come out, so where you can uh, oh, mobile is going to be so sick, guys! Like, I, yo, mobile is going to be insane. It's like such a game changer. 
um, it's going to just make everything like I, th I see this game being so fun on mobile, right? It's like it's, it's like it feels like a mobile game in many ways. Yeah. And it's going to make a lot of sense because it's just pinching yeah. and zooming and touching. It'll be it'll be easy. Um, yeah. I'm excited for that. Yeah, I think it's going to be good, too. I recently got a new tablet, so it'd be cool to try it out on it. Oh, what'd you get? Not a real, not a real powerful tablet. Um, I, I did some bargain shopping. My old tablet broke, the one that I just used to use to watch Crunchyroll with and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I got a Lenovo or a Leveno. I forgot. Lenovo. I forgot. Lenovo. Yeah, Lenovo. Lenovo. Yes. Lenovo. Um, because my my last tablet that was modestly priced was a Samsung, and I mm -hmm. was very very disappointed with the bang for the buck I got. Um, oh wow! And, Samsung makes like the best uh, monitors. Uh, sorry, like they, the best screens, right? They have they have incredible quality, but the thing is, is their their price point is generally higher. So, a lot of times, you know, as y'all know, like with televisions, you can get an off brand and get a really really good piece of technology without spending the premium price for the the big name brand. And I recently got a tablet from a nephew that was mm. a complete off brand, and I was like really surprised with its quality for the price. But it didn't have something like it didn't have a headphone jack. I was mm. like, well, this is kind of weird. So I started doing some research and this Lenovo is it's it's just so good. It's like a hundred dollar tablet. And I'm 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 completely blown away by how good it is for quality for the for, for the price. It's nice. really good. Yeah, you'll so. definitely be able to run Voxy tactics on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, the That's... double slow. He's coming through. He's, he's really down to the wire, you... guys. Oh God! Would what you ability say was that? That was a tidal wave. That was tidal wave. Mm. Are you in a good position, Brad? I'm not in a good position. Well, I mean, we're about in an equal position. I have two procs ready, but he slowed me. Um, he doesn't have any mana left, and I don't believe he has any potions left. He already he, that, he used yeah he already used the potion. He, used he already the potion. did. Oh okay, I, I, Brad. I'd say you're in a better position. Sorry, Gabe. I mean, burn order really and prox. Yeah, is gonna make a big difference here. I got to confuse off on him. I'm gonna. Yeah, also... helps a lot. Brett's got this, man. Damn, Brett. Actually, Watch inspire. Oh, I have Play. ancient beacon. That's. Wait, if you hit him right now, though, doesn't that remove Fire? his confused stat? I don't think it does. Mm. I'm gonna hit him with a flame. If it removes his confused stat, I've I've screwed myself, and I don't know my own game. Okay, cool. We're good. <laughs> I was worried for a second. I was like, shit. See, that's some of the nuanced stuff that I, I, I forget because I know oh, some things too. break stuff, you know? Yeah, that'll help. Yeah, Brad, I would say if I was a Ben man, I would give you the game. Oh, hit him with the stop. It's a stop. The ancient beacon. Yeah, is that a was pro. And the burning is still happening. Now, all of that to do this, to just have to. Try to get his HP as low as possible now. Yeah. Slowed. He stopped. Both slow proc stopped. Burning. Proc. He's on fire. Not a good. Not in a good way. <laughs> do you remember NBA Jam? Are you old I enough do. for that? He's on fire. NBA Jam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's on fire. The Rockets were my team. I had to do the Elijah oh, one. Oh man. But, um. I don't know Such if I'm going to make game. it. He's going to try to move away and try to kite me, but I have five. He's burning, though. This guy. He is burning, but he has he 38 life left. So he's got two burn procs left, I think. Does he have range, though? Does he? Is that? Is that? That no, Shepherd's a Crook staff. is a staff. Yeah. yeah he's he's got to go in the melee. Yeah, he's done. It GG's, was a though. Brad. It was a very GG's good game. Though. Brad, bro, good job, man. That was a, that was a good game. That was a very very good game. Yeah. Ugh. Gabriel, nice. uh, send me your uh, or DM me on um, on Discord, Gabriel. I'll send you a, a few boxes, a few unidentified items. Yeah, Gabe, <laughs> great game, man. Yay! Really enjoyed watching uh, you square yeah. off with Brad. Brad remains the king, but I'm sure he'll be <laughs> dethroned eventually. Twenty six um, minutes, Brad. I was epic. That was yeah. a very close game. Good lord. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so man, yeah this guys. is such a good on ramp for players. You know, mm -hmm. we're gonna redo the draft arena with all of the new NPCs. You'll be able to play with legendary people with like new classes, new, uh, new spells. Probably. Yeah. And I don't want to leak this stuff here, but like probably 
never before seen weapons and armor that we'll have equipped to these guys. It's it's all part of the lore basically. So we'll be putting lore people in there like Zero, like Clarissa, uh, the mummy guy. His name's Chalk. Um, stuff like Chalk. That. So, Chalk. C H O K. Chalk. Oh, okay. Cool. Um. Sure. Oh, okay. Chalk. There's all kinds of cool Chalk. stuff coming out. Uh, sounds got sounds the, fitting for a mummy name. The Titan Arena, which is like you'll buy tickets. Um. And you'll wager tickets against each other and then cash those tickets out or, or whoever wins will win a certain amount of voxel what else do we have so much stuff set bonuses new uh weapon mechanics to where it's like you know maybe daggers proc in two turns instead of one and two counters instead of one maybe certain things Ooh. get bleed damage and if you hit bleed a crossbow maybe you can hit twice in certain instances or it has like a, mm -hmm. a double shot um, oh like that the automatic crossbow and the uh the, the gun the rare gun that says something about hitting twice like the uh the description of it maybe things like that huh? i forget who, which gun that is i forget i think it's a it lightning looks... gun right it's yeah of... it is a lightning gun yeah the, the one yeah so much cool stuff and i can't wait to leak all the lore stuff like we have an entire world built we have stumpton we have like iliarta we have like the um a lot of cool stuff. There's like the Empire, the Damn, there's an Empire Child Justice. There's I don't know okay. what else I can leak. I can leak a lot Damn. of stuff, but L let's, let's cut it there, man. Jeez. Um, cool <laughs> God damn. I wanted yeah, to I say uh, everybody, so um uh, just don't forget that everybody's ELOs is our reset in the pro arena. It's very important to like get to you know everybody's clear on that. Uh, when you compete in the pro arena and then you have a different elo for extreme right so for both right. arenas you have your own sort of ranking you have your own sort of um, prog progression to go through in each arena so uh, make sure you check out the article guys i, I posted it here on the channel post it again and through our um september newsletter that we we recently posted as well just to see what was happening last month in the major highlights keep your eyes open for dev diaries which is also coming soon um, is there any th closing thoughts, Zuljin, Brad, that you guys want to share with the crew before we uh, call it? I'm just excited to see how the meta develops for uh, for Pro Arena, man. I want to see what uh, what classes come out the strongest because it's such a different ball game, you know. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited to see how that plays out as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, Brad. Any closing thoughts? <clears throat> um. I, I'm also excited about Pro Arena. I'm really excited about the Titan Arena coming out. I'm really excited about the new uh, event that's coming uh, like very soon. Yeah. Uh, all of the it's gonna be a tournament style event. We're gonna have prize pools. It's gonna be, it's gonna be like a season. It's gonna be amazing, right? And uh, be cool. I feel like it's gonna really work out. So very cool. I'm excited about all yeah. that stuff. Yeah, super stuff, guys. Um, we'll we'll see each other again soon on a stream in the future. Uh, Brad, Zuljin, thank you both so much for your time today, for uh, showing us, walking us through the pro arena, telling us all about it. I, I, I personally feel like I learned a lot um, watching and talking to you guys. Thank you all so much. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Of course. And, thank uh, you. Very much excited to see everybody again on the next stream. For sure. Later, guys. All right, everyone. Cheers, guys.